I'm Mason Abiati, and this is my story. I was born uh, 26 weeks premature with hydrocephalus. I was two and a half pounds and smaller than a beanie baby. My parents told me that they remember six doctors walking into the hospital room and the first thing that came out of their mouth was, your son may never be able to walk or talk. When I was about one was when they had diagnosed me with cerebral palsy and there was definitely some bumps in the road. I just taught myself to never give up and keep on going. I think as myself as a normal human being who doesn't have a disability. I started playing soccer ever since I was three years old. There was this field down the street where I used to play and never stopped playing. I didn't know that there was even a team with people who had disabilities. I thought it was really cool. My dad had actually showed me a couple of videos about the team. He didn't tell me that I was gonna go try out for the team. There was a youth camp going on and I had joined the youth camp and then there was the Paralympic team off to the side. So it was two camps going at once, and within two days I was training with the Paralympic team. Me being the youngest, I'm like the little brother on the team, and I've got a bunch of big brothers that, I mean, we're all a family. When I first came on the team, they had me and one of my roommate's shoes, and they tied all of our shoes in a knot, probably 11 or 12 pairs of shoes that they tied in a knot, so we had to all untangle them. They haven't picked on me recently, which I hope it stays the same for a while. It's definitely a heartfelt moment. To be able to play the game and represent your country at the same time is definitely uh, one to remember.